Hi you guys, well I'm showered, just got out, see my hair, it's wet, and next I'm going to get dressed because I'm only in a towel, so again, like I said in the previous video day, the camera will only be on me, I'm going to a spring concert downstairs. And it's, I gotta be there, down there in like 30 minutes, so I gotta get going. And when I get back, I'm gonna do the dishes, put them away, and um, go out for Supernaturals. Okay, these are my plans for today, and I'm gonna go to store to get more uh, blueberry pop tart thingies. We have about two boxes because I love those. And um, <sighs> I'm thinking I could make uh, that chicken, cheese, and broccoli tater tots dish. And I know there's like extra, like, 90-ish percent of my uh, tuna casserole dish. Hey. What you doing? <sighs> I 
it's raining a little bit out there. You wake up early this morning. What? You wake up early this morning. Yeah. Yeah? Jeez. A different cuff. Olaf. I like this weather, but without the rain. I know, exactly. <laughs> I, I'm Olaf, I like old hogs. Mm
funding from a security program that we paid to develop. I want it back, and I want the profits. And I plan to get them for you. I'll be sitting in on the first two depositions, Billy and Phyllis. Did you two discuss this? That might compromise their willingness to be forthcoming. Well, I will be there, and if they have the brass to lie, I will be watching every minute of it. Jack, are you on your way? This is the third voicemail. The depositions are about ready to start. Call me. That's a good sign. Jack's a well. You're great about this right now. Uh, it doesn't mean anything. Jack's just busy. Busy? It's more important than this right now. Save Phyllis and me, Jack? We don't need your saving. No, of course you don't, because you don't even see what's happening to both of you. You know what's happening to you, Jack. Victor B. he didn't do with Marco, and he didn't do with Shabo's money. He did it with the king's pious milk toast. Squealing about doing the right thing. You know what that says? It says, let Victor have the last word, the last laugh, the last dime out of our pocket. And it's not just that, Jack. You love watching me lose, don't you? It's like the cherry on your Sunday. That's why you didn't give me the money for past. No, I didn't days. give you the money because you were drinking again and gambling. And you didn't tell me what the two million was for. Have to tell you, Jack, you're supposed to trust me. That's what family does, isn't it? That's how dad taught us. You think dad would have given you the money? Dad would have been appalled by this deal. Dad would have killed this deal from the get-go. That's what your excuse is, then? Do you think Dad would let his wife be arrested for perjury, Jack? Stop With everything right she has been through, you have done nothing to protect her. Nothing. You might as well be in that cabin back on the island because you are useless to her. I never expected Billy to tell the truth tonight. But you know that Jack wants to do the right thing. He told you so. And you refuse to listen. The prophecies are turning out to be pretty overrated. I gotta tell you, kid, you're making a good case for the whole concept of free will. You changed the world. He's my son, Wesley. Connor's my son. Did you trade her? Did you trade Fred for your son? What? Everything that's happened since we took over Wolfram and Hart. Everything that's happened to... Her. Did you know? Was Fred the price? No. Wes... I can explain. You just put that down. Why are you so afraid of this? He said it would bring back the past. Would it undo what you've done? No. It won't bring her back. Let's find out. No. Please. You have to trust me. I can't. Not anymore. Go to the crash. Huh? Okay. I'm going to meet you in front of the podium and have Right. Half an hour. Yeah. We've got half an hour. Got it. Well, it won't work. Take it from here, Owen. Come on, roll. Okay, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Okay. All right. It's better. Jeez. Okay. I know my mom's car doesn't look like much, but not destroying it is the key to my and my mother's relationship. Okay. Whatever. Now, how am I supposed to get around that artery? Down to get back there. I'm good. Uh, okay. Uh, four steps. There you go. Excuse me. God, it's unbelievable. Right. How did she live like that? Watch what you say. You never know who's listening. <laughs> Look at George. Looks like he's about to fall in. Are you really as shallow and callous as you seem? 
Oh, you want to go out for a drink later and hear about my secret pain? Does that line ever work for you? Sometimes. It must be because you look like that. It's my quad. <laughs> Jude? Jude the dude? Remember that one? How we doing? I'm fine. You are not fine. Your ears are droopy. Why did I think I could make a difference? Because you're a trier. That's why. You've always been a trier. Oh, I tried. And it made life so much worse for so many innocent predators. Oh, not all of them, though. Speak of the devil, right on time. Gideon Gray? Yep, it sure is. We work with him now. He's our partner, and we never would have considered it had you not opened our minds. That's right. I mean, Gibbs turned into one of the top pastry chefs in the tri boroughs It's really cool, you guys. Gideon Gray. I'll be darned. Hey, Judy, I, I'd just like to say I'm sorry for the way I, I, I behaved in my youth. I, I had a lot of self-doubt. And it manifested itself in the form of unchecked rage and aggression. I was a major jerk. Oh, I know a thing or two about being a jerk. Really? <coughs> you were my when you shattered the world to change the past, to rewrite your history as a history of this body. Instead, I go back to more. But you intended to alter them. I wanted to bring back friends. And destroy me. As an unavoidable consequence. Does it stick? Oh, well, she was just taking attendance, and so when you weren't there, she asked the class if anyone knew you. So she's looking for me. I don't know what's going on, Michael. I just thought I should tell you. Thanks. Sure. Listen, if uh, Hank insulted you or anything. Oh, no. Kind of have to ignore him. Sorry to just show up here. That's where I live. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I know it's late, but he sent an agent into my building. I think I've got a right to an immediate explanation. No, I won't call back. No, tomorrow is not acceptable. Yeah, I'm sorry about it, too. Listen, if, no, excuse me. Ex Hello? Hello?
Ten lovable donkeys. Yup. Hi. I guess I'm gonna get ready for bed. But I wanna do one more itty bitty small thing that would only take five minutes worth on the computer. Then I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I know this guy is waiting for me. cleaning this place tomorrow. And well, there's nothing much, but it has to be done. We'll run home and get the vacuum and all that stuff. Oh, I gotta go to bed because this eye is effed up, dude. It's really screwy.